okay, it is green stuff. <coughs> and I am online. All right, we are live. <coughs> yeah, but how 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 bad it is? No, it's fine. fine. Okay. Anyway, anyway, so here's my pitch. Okay, so just for the archive purposes, uh, we're gonna explain what you're gonna do today. Today we're gonna add uh, a type. You can ask types in the REPL as you can do in Haskell to like, oh, I have this expression. I don't know if it works, but I want to know if the type of it. You can ask mm -hmm. the REPL that. We want to do that today. And another thing that we want to do to today is to uh, allow the user to define functions in a file and use these user-defined functions in other in other expressions. That's what we want to do. And then we were mm -hmm. discussing about adding this node here of having like uh, the name of a function, a type, the type of that, and the, the its body, right? Yeah. And we're gonna model the body using an abstraction. So then we're already gonna like inherit all the curing mechanism that we developed back in the day and stuff. And what I'm suggesting is to us to implement the ORD type class. Because the OR type class is a requirement to have to be able to use a sort function. <coughs> and why do we want that? Because we can say to the to the OR type class to always put the if fun in the first, and then when we parse the expressions, we sort them and then we evaluate them one by one. Oh, by one. dude, I don't know if I like this man. Because think about this: what if what happens when you shadow? If it's not stable, then. I don't know if it's a stable or not, but depending on the case, it could overwrite the function in the incorrect order, right? Wait, when you mean shadow, you do a def fun, a second def fun with the same yeah, name? Yeah, with the same name and stuff like this, and then let's suppose that I it's hate, a, man, I, I, unstable. I don't advocate for to that that is a, bad, a good programming practice, but if you li well, like that, we can just no, not no, no, sort dude, it at all. That's just one case. You can do multiple other things like this, like assigning a variable inside the scope. Uh, like in a, in a global scope, and then you add uh, expand to a, oh, and by the a way, more we're gonna refined have to do scope, that, right? and so on. We're gonna have to put priority. We're gonna if you have a, a name, an e variable with the same <coughs> name, which one comes first? That should be an error. And if you define a variable with uh, another fun, what happens? So I think we have much more complication doing that way. I think wow. we should just leave the file as is, like as the user input defined don't try to mess and then on there mm -mm, and then on there we just add when you specify this uh, foom uh, garbage we just specify directly on the on the environment that you have and then propagate the environment to evaluate the the further expressions uh, we should t take a look on the title of the stream, though, because I'm oh, yeah. completely not aware I, I don't of think one. we even have one. No, we do have one. And for some random reason, we have three <coughs> people here. Are you what, having this open? Do you have this yeah, open? I do. I do have this okay, open. Okay, so there but is a, a third weirdo. Oh, is. hello, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this, here's where we change your... Okay, so developing... developing. We love you. Don't, don't go away. <laughs> oh, he went. He went away. We, I called oh, him no. the weirdo, and he left. <laughs> Developing, uh, grapple, and um, parsing. Making a language, just that reason, to attract <laughs> people. <laughs> Making a what a mislead title, but okay. Oh, we are. No, we, we are, are not. not. We are, but we are not doing it from scratch, as the title may imply. Making a language. Okay, I'm not gonna have this open because that will, I, I don't know, crash my CPU. Okay, let's start with the easy one. With the easy one is to have the ask the type stuff, which is in here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the first thing that I don't remember how to do. Oh my god, I close it. We we already have a, a thing that you can call the type, right? As far as I know. Um, else if Haskell. <coughs> uh, we can also use is prefix. No, 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 the function it is exactly what you said, uh, Nathan. Nathan, no, uh, Magetti. You're calling me Nathan? Do I look like I like JavaScript? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Do you have elsifs, elifs in Haskell? Oh, no, no, I never use them. I hope you don't, because I hate that. Ne 
nested if else statement. Oh, you can you can just yeah, just yeah. yeah okay, just okay, that's fair. Same okay, the other one is if prefix. Uh, yeah, here, this one. We're gonna use just just you. Okay, so now. <coughs> uh, you're gonna do. If you want to quit, you're gonna quit. That's fine. If you if the comment is prefix, it starts with this. Um, well, I'm gonna <coughs> do it in the dumb way first. Or is prefix. Oops. This actually, I want to have a space separating the thing, so it's going to be like this. So if the comment have a prefix, you do that? Let me just get like that. Here. Then, then, then what? Then we will. <coughs> okay, so um, you're just getting the command, and then you dismember with the what you actually passed, right? Yeah, we. we we're grabbing the command that the user wants to uh, is asking to the output to do, and we're checking if it starts with column T space or column type space. And mm -hmm. if it is, we need to strip that out and give and, and put the and put the thing onto the and put the thing onto the type checking process. But there is an issue. There is an issue. And that kind of sucks. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna copy paste this function. Uh, let's call this uh, I don't know type get the type get type which is basically gonna be oh I should also share the link also my good oh yeah I, I didn't even notice actually okay, so <coughs> here's the link okay so Get the is that time. you saying I'm lazy? Is that it? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Well, I am. Uh, check. Okay, th th this should be very easy then, because then we just grab this, we throw an error, and if we don't, we just get the type, and we just print, grab this. For now, it's really manipulated, <coughs> but I really don't ki kind of care at the moment. Um, type. Type here as well, type prime, and there it goes. And then, if you want to do that, uh, insertion. Oh, it's, you need to call it recursively, that's fine. that uh, then instead of that it's going to be get type but we need to strip out the thing um, how the heck we're going to do that okay <laughs> let me open visual studio so what is the best way of doing that let me check <coughs> There is a function code. called strip prefix? How convenient! Um, At least Haskell has the convenient functions. Off. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try to strip the prefix this of command and also the same. If you have the type stuff, then <coughs> if you have a right, uh, if you have a right, but it's right still loading. Stuff. I cannot join your stuff. Oh, that's that's a bad sign. No, like it's just loading infinitely. Let me close and open again and try.
Oh, you joined. No. Oh, did I? Asked for dive. Yeah, he is. Nice. I can see. Okay. At some point in the future, I need to make auxiliary functions for all these things. But for now, I'm just copy pasting and then I'm gonna call insertion. That's cool. Then, if you got that, you're gonna call ask for type uh, and you're gonna pass command prime. That's mm -hmm. exactly the same thing. If you have the opposite, just uh, command prime. This is a nothing, uh, and everything else should be impossible. <laughs> yeah, you didn't ask for anything, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You entered. If you enter this if, this yeah, uh, it's impossible to reach that state. I get yeah. it. So this is just an error through. Just an error saying this should not be possible. Cool. Okay. I think it's parentheses. What is H link complaining about? Uh, oh, it is parentheses. Yeah. Cool. Now we save that. And that should be it. We shouldn't Let have see any your other screen. sort of problems. So stack build. Where are the odds? Oh, I guess it should work. Are we importing data.list? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we are not. That's cool. Uh, we need both, and I, I, I need to remember if we also is we are also is it, is the name is specific is prefix off. So there's an off here. Down there, and pay attention to the chat if somebody crazy you know. Is yeah, I'm looking. There. Some crazy okay. folk. List, so it's gonna be is prefix off. Oh, I just felt alone because no, there's nobody here. That's fine. Let's expect. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay, let's try that again. Okay. So right type. Wait, either expected in a text value, oh, but got a text is, uh, type. Is, uh, I know what that is. I know what that is. So that needs to have. Uh, Back, show. Hmm, okay. Do you have back there? Wait, what? Oh, it is because this is an either value. Ah. Okay, so this, this, whatever I did with that function needs to be a... No, wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. We are just done. This is, that was correct. This is not a value. This is a type. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Just the annotation is wrong. Okay. And. Cool. Stack, exec, spatula, and uh, REPL. Okay. The thumb and the knife. <laughs> and then the, I can't thank this. Okay, so a let's ask for the type of this. Okay. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something a little bit more interesting. <clears throat> so this is a function that it picks an integer. You're fluent already in silver, I see. Uh, and this will return a unit. Uh, because it's going to be integer A. Man. Very <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Very fancy indeed. Can you do show like a, uh, sorry, T show or, or print? Sorry, just print. One, one second. Because it's a native built-in, right? Mint. Type print. Uh, okay. Try stuff on our prelude or car stuff like this. Damn. <laughs> try, try the car. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's cool. Try car and then integer, or cutter, whatever. Yeah, cutter, cutter, integer. Damn. 
This is very cool. Okay. Okay, and you can quit it. You don't have to control C. Yeah. Uh, awesome. But like I said, this was this is very fast to do. It doesn't require a lot of effort. Um. Ultra cool, ultra cool. And by the way, we can change the colors. Like I chose this blue because I liked it. But if you no, that's it. perfect. I, I like it. Uh. Anyway, this is this is done for the repo stuff. Uh, it's basically mm -hmm. like that. That's a lot of boiler plating on this madness. I will eventually ah, fix yeah, this, but that's, that's fine. fine. Okay. okay, let's see. For now, we want to add this function operator. Yeah, we want to add add the the fun, the, the ability to the user to define mm -hmm. his own functions. Okay, so let me think here. What we will need? Let me look we into need a the Definitely. Well, yes, <laughs> that's that's the first oh, thing. Oh, that explains why it it had so many warnings. It's because this is not pattern matched anywhere. Oh yes, makes sense. <laughs> okay. So okay, let's. So what you want to do here is just get some label for this expression, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's and not... an optional type, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it can wait. Yeah, it's just an annotation, right? Mm, it's because, like, if you annotate, if we annotate, we're going to have to coerce this expression with this type yeah we're gonna have to compare yeah so this needs to be a maybe then yeah okay so this is fine let's do the parser first we then. don't need this to be a tuple i just remember that mm -hmm. can do like this. so let's do the parser first let's go let's to define, ex let's define an example okay um, that, that's good okay so, fun. so examples so fun, SW. let's go to multiple Let's do it here. Okay. So, what would be it? That fun? No, I will. I'll prefer that fun. This? No, the same one. I think. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So I don't know A B C. Yeah. And then we can annotate. Yeah. Uh, then but column. Yeah. So. Column, and then you put it in an in, uh, Okay, I see. <laughs> have you seen um, Have you seen closure annotated? No, never saw that. Let me let me type an example here. Let me just get what was the here. So closure annotated looks something like this. Oopsie. So like you can annotate a function. So let's suppose you you have like defin. That's a defun in closure. Merge and then you have the parameters and then you can put like a one alive. This is I think a game of life. Um, <coughs> oh, this is not a yeah, good example. Yeah, but how do you type annotate? The, what is the question mark again? Yeah, so the question mark is like it's just the name of the attribute, like oh. in this case, oh, uh, okay. because if this is a record enclosure. Oops. No, oh, I see. This is a record enclosure, uh, but like there is this an thing that you. Put the name, uh -huh. and it's like we're doing Haskell, you know. Like, uh, we we have the function itself that doesn't have the annotation, but then on the first on the line below above, you put this and to annotate the name of the function with the type, mm -hmm. like a little ABC, and then you put I don't know. It receives a set of uh, int whatever, and then it's an like the arrow is like this, so mm -hmm. something like this. So. And you can put like on definitions of stuff like this. Uh, you can put I think this. You can put something like cell or int. Something like this, you see. So you are coercing the the stuff to have the type you want. So anyway, I see. they have a better syntax. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and this okay. Be a list. Oh man, it didn't properly stuff, right? Yeah, uh, because usually 
I'm just I'm just uh, counting on Emacs to be to for me, so I kinda We should make a silverware mold for Visual Studio, right? For Visual Studio, I don't yeah. know, but on Emacs, it's easy. Fourth, yeah. Okay, so this is the example that we want. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna also copy it here. Okay, so do you understand what's happening here? Yes, we are receiving a function that does some mapping and then maps to integers, right? And then yes. we just set it inside. Yes. Looks fine. Yeah, I, I don't have color per parent. Bracket, so is this correct? Balanced, right? yes, looks like. Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. outstanding. Yeah, it is perfectly balanced. Uh, the job lens. <laughs> After years of lis lisp slavery. <laughs> lisp slavery. <laughs> uh, uh, um, actually, wait. Like, oh man. Okay, think of parsing this garbage now. We will have a problem because <coughs> this thing here, ah man, because okay, this is already part of the abstraction, right? Yes, yes it is. So this sh to parse like this with what we already have, like calling something like uh, r the phone, we check this the string, string yeah. the phone, something like this. Yes. And then I will ignore the spaces, okay? Yes. And then okay, I want uh, now the name a label. And then I want uh, a type annotation, so that's what we should do, you see? Because this is the thing that we are adding right now. And the stuff we are not adding, which is the... I should have used the normal parentheses, but you got the idea. Mm -hmm. And then we get the abstraction parser, so it's like a lot easier. But then we have this type here, like... Oopsie. Like a... Uh type here and then we have uh, the other like abstraction one and abstraction two you see we're wait, chopping wait, wait, the abstraction wait wait wait, wait, wait. i want we, we need a more complicated example than this thing so let's make how is uh, what's supposed to have multiple ones so then you're going to have i don't know a y which is an integer no, the, yeah but if, think about this man like the y problem here. is no, no, let, I want, let, let's discuss a thing. So, I, I agree that it starts with Wait, legs. first of all, does the abstraction has a, a optional annotation? Yes, it does. But that's not, not yes, what it I does. Oh, about. dude, so that's it. We that's just it. need to make a specific parser to parse couples, like a name and a type. And I think we already have one of those. Dude, that's it, man. Oh, dude, that solves all of our problems, Lemus. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's try... So let's copy this thing. Oh man, imagine we dedicate, I don't know how many hours on this abstraction, then Nathan says, yeah, it is wrong, dudes. Ah, it's cool, Nathan. <laughs> I, will keep it, I will keep it wrong. <laughs> We're gonna be, it's gonna be so sad. Um, do you really want to, let's start with parsing. You always start with the evaluator and the type checking because of Nathan, so let's start with parsing today. Uh, okay. So if you, Dude, I like am in parsing the... and evaluating this is just a normal abstraction, right? You're just adding to the yeah, environment. Yeah, if we 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 are we, if it is actually possible to define the, to to define the thing in terms of like reusing the abstraction parser, then we are done. Good. Then we are totally mm -hmm. good. Uh, we just need to figure out if that's actually. So let's do happening. it. I think we can do it pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know about the quick part, but okay. No, it uh, will be quick. Okay, so it's gonna be a uh, def fun t. Yes. Uh, st expression. By the way, by the way, uh, I, although I'm not necessarily uh, hmm. recommending parsec instead of auto parsec, doing mm -hmm. advent of code with this guy, with par parsers like this is so much easier. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Okay, okay so, so the let first me thing is a first. string. Yeah, so uh, the phone, the keyword. The phone. Oh, we gotta add that to the band list. We do have to add that to the band list. And then a bunch of spaces. So that's the first. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is a name. <coughs> so it is a variable generic as far as I can tell. So that's a name. Yes. So variable generic. Um, then um, 
then we have a name, then we have more spaces. More spaces, yes. Um, and then after the name, we have we the, the abstraction. Abstraction. Wait. Just abstraction. Are you sure? It is the same thing. It is the same, you say? Yes. It is not the same, my dude. It is, man. Let me give you an example why it's not. Look at the, the two abstractions. I mean, if you want to add multiple parameters, then we were going to have to add the current part. But from this part, it is the same thing as the abstraction. Okay, so look, take a look on this. This okay. is the abstraction. This is the, our abstraction, right? So the abstraction parses is, is ex actually expecting a lambda. Oh, yes, that, there is that. So what that means is that the def fun in the ab abstraction parser, they, <coughs> they share stuff. Yeah. That is what that means. If that is oh, what that man, means, yes. we can abstract that out. Yeah, we are going to have to do the fold again and all the crap that we're doing. Um, I don't know if we, didn't, we need to redo that. Because it's already here. Yes, but I don't want to read that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not understanding me. So, <laughs> arguments. <laughs> so, the arguments we can certainly reuse. Oh. Okay, th this is this is the couple though. This is parsing a couple. This. Wait, pay attention to what I said. This, mm -hmm. what I am highlighting right now. This is parsing a couple, which is a name and a space and a in a type. This five, yeah. as I remember, maybe I am wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so let's lens. copy okay. this. Let's copy this. Yeah, this goes there as well. Wait, wait, wait. This, this goes here, after the name, after the name of the, the function. Oh, you want to just... I would put the parser itself. I think we can just do the parser. Okay, so let's put couples. Let's put couples. And instead of an A, this is type B. Okay. Okay. We, ha we need many of them. We need many of those, actually. So now the question becomes, in, in uh, when we are listing the, 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 the arguments of the function, w would, will e, we uh, add the brackets to surround it, all of them in a list, or they can be separated just by spaces? Just like I this. think it's better all of them in a the list. Oh man, that's kind of... Uh. Why? That's the uh, lispy. That's the lispy way, but we are already mixing F sharp stuff. Uh, dude, I think it will be confusing, like le letting it be, like okay, just so brackets, all. Okay, the... Yes, uh, yeah, brackets, not list. Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's exactly what you did here. Square the brackets. Uh, but this needs to be a many one. And this needs to be couples. And I think that's it. Then, then, what do we need? We need this guy. We already did this one also. So it's in here. So easier copy pasting. Uh, this. Exactly this, uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then this is already the body of the function. Mm -hmm. This is already the body of the function. That's cool. Now, it comes the fold. We don't need to do the same complicated fold because this guy is actually counting that you can have any abstraction and any type abstraction. We are yeah. starting always with mapping to the any abstraction so we can just scrap out all the type abstraction stuff. Uh, so let's see, let's copy this guy. And this is actually the return. Yeah, delete this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now we need to just change the these lines. The <coughs> fold R. The fold R. We're doing oh, the fold R. I remember. Yes, fold I remember this because we gotta we can only oh, know where I it stops from the that. right. <laughs> yes. I remember that. That was a. That it was a, a, a not an innovation, I guess. Um. Yeah, not have fixed this. We were doing the abstraction and the. E type abstraction like uh, out of order. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so these args are these. Mm -hmm. So we better match those. Uh, we better match the last one. And who 
we need to do this in this manner? Wait, why are you thinking? You know? It is because, like, we don't have the, the, the either. All these rights on left, this is all because we are we have it at abstraction and abstraction. By the way, the args can be many only, right? It can be null. No, it can't be. It can be null. You need to pass oh, it at can. least units. Unit. Yeah. Yes. That is not null. That is parenthesis. Not yes, parenthesis. You need unit? to type unit, actually. You need to type unit. Oh, yes. You need to type the type unit. Oh, man. That's... Okay. Yeah, for now. For now, because you don't have type inference. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me think. This f the, the function will be this is this will go away this and this will also go away. We just have to get rid of the eaters and that's it. So um, okay, so let's do the following. Let's call first this. Let's, let's call first that. Mm. Uh, and let's make a lambda in which you receive the last text and the last. Oh, text. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna return this. Okay, this is the first is done. Yeah. And now this other guy instead of a left is just an item. And I guess that's pretty much it. Initial int has something for me. Of course, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, that should work. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm impressed. This is so boilerplate, though. Know. You should fix this at some point. Let's see if it works, though. Let's see if it compiles. I think that's a good call. Um, stack build. And Apparently, it does. Wait. It's stupid. taking a while, so it does. Yeah, when it takes a while, usually it does, <coughs> I agree. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. okay, so we know how to... Theoretically, we know how to parse stuff. Yeah, let's try it with an input. Let's see what it gives us. Try on the REPL. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you need to add No, that's even before. better. No, 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 we don't need to. Uh, stack is... Uh, oh, I'm so glad I did this. Uh, no, but wait. You dash need to load... Dash F, oh. examples. Uh, no, but wait, dude. You, don't you need, don't you need to load dash the. B. No, but dude, you need to add the expression there, don't you? you this the guys. What are you guys? Oh, hello, commander. Hello, commander. How are you? Yeah, I raided you with two people. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, there's actually two people. No, three right now. I think. Well, one is me, but. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I closed mine, so it's definitely you, Maggie. Let me keep watching the chat uh, if somebody wants to. Uh, oh, I forgot to add that to the list. That's why. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. What the heck? Oh, sorry. I got too excited, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you were like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so glad I made this, though. Uh, I made this thing. And it didn't work, of course. Uh, what is not working though? F? An unexpected F. Is it because of the death phone? Or white space? Oh, I know why. I know why. I, I forgot the brackets. Brackets. Oh, here. Brackets. Okay. This. Mm -hmm. uh, go. Still unexpected F. So something is wrong, I guess. Let me see. It's... Do I really have the correct brackets here in this thing? Because I, 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 think don't, you do. I don't have highlighting stuff. Yeah, it's a list of the bindings. Yeah, you do. No, yeah, no, no. Count the let. Count the brackets. Oh, uh, commander just looks. Just take a glance and boom. <laughs> is it correct, oh, yes. Commander? Oh, yes? Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, how are, are we doing the... The lambda stuff because the lambda works and we know it works, so it should be this. Yeah, it is the same actually. Let's compare. Oh, so wait, the... no, instead no, no, of no, this, no. we have this. Mm -hmm. We need to save the name, a label then, which we are, and then we have a list uh, wrapped in parentheses. Yeah, maybe one. Okay, so maybe I'm being a little bit too ambitious. With ambitious, the yes. This. So let's transform this to just an integer. Maybe the arrow parser is wrong and we don't. Uh, yeah, because it's failing right on the arrow, if you look there. It says that it yeah, expects an arrow. Yeah, expecting white space or that, but it, it got something different. No, 
No, it is this. Indeed. Okay, let, let's go back to the to the thing and let's check. Okay, so, so let's, no, for, let's first explain to Commander what the heck we're doing. So we are def uh, making, uh, well, we are parsing user-defined functions. So yeah, instead of you using different from parsing anything else, though. Oh yeah, it is different than parsing anything else. No, not that different because it, it, we are basically using the same <coughs> strategy of the lambda. But, in, but oh, we are yes. saving the, uh, the name of that lambda for you. Well, yeah, so it should <coughs> you have a, like, is it a list one or list two? Oh, I mean, quote unquote list. <laughs> it's a fake one. <laughs> uh, it should e was supposed to be a true, but then we just added, just added so much ML that it just ceased being a list. <laughs> I have to agree. I, ha I do have to agree. <coughs> it's fair. What I'm saying is the define should just transform. At least this is how it is done in most lists. It just transforms into something like set symbol value or function symbol value something like this mm -hmm. it's a f definition in common list of abc to lambda of something like mm -hmm. i think the problem is that it morphed into our ast the way it is oh. right now oh i, I this is not a problem but i i i i notice an error Defin i what? definitely notice an error yeah because we we need to remember we need to remember to to enclose the thing into the node we are not enclosing oh, yes, the fun true. stuff yeah, that's true. Um, <coughs> so this is kind of like... But dude, like, there is... There is something really weird. Let me just do this, because this is confusing to look the other way. We get the name with spaces. And the arguments. The arguments is many arguments with this. And this represents tuples. <coughs> with their respective types, with spaces again. Then Isn't there a problem here? Like, if we have a space right when we start, that's possible. Wait, we are having a, a, a tr trouble parsing this thing, right? Oh, that 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 is. I don't know if that's the problem, but that's yeah, definitely that, it. That definitely yeah. that, that the should <laughs> that should be, but I don't think that is what's causing our yeah, headache. Yeah, there's another thing that I we need to be aware at the moment, because now I don't because I just added the thing. We need actually a new from here. I think we're already exporting <coughs> everything from this guy, if I'm mistaken. Oh, we are not. We are we are actually doing it correctly. Oh, that's cool. Oh, but it's already exporting everything. Okay, so let's try to mm. build this thing. Dude, I don't see any issue with this function. That's the problem. Usually when <coughs> that happens is because we are being That's too dumb or too tired. Yeah. Both, Unexpected maybe. Unexpected F. Line 1. Are we using... Uh, look at the fun.sw, though. Is this correct? Yeah, like, we have a list defining the label and the type. Which column is complaining? Column 14. Column 14. So it's this. Let's see. Column 14 is this one. An expected F. Wait, 14 is this one, right? The F. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is the F that is complaining. Unexpected. This is where something like GDB would come in handy, you know? Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, wait. Yeah. Um, I may. I want to look again at the Lambda, man, because how the heck the Lambda. How it is the lambda one working? And, uh, yes, dude, I'm confused. I'm <laughs> maybe, very confused. I, I think we're copy pasting it wrong then. That must be the problem. Oh man, if you have sure seen your code, you wouldn't need copy pasting. Haha. <laughs> oh man. No, but we we are doing copy pasting because it's easier. You, you, ideally, well, we it, would it should be. It should be. <laughs> no, it doesn't work for you. Wait, so did you find it? Dumb. Where? Where? Oh man. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was okay. That was pretty dumb. Yeah. First line of abstraction. <laughs> but where are we closing? I think it's it's in here. It's in here. 
No, 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 no. wait. It this is closing here. the return pipe. No, no, it's not. D oh, this yes, it is not. It yes, is not. that is true. Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was pretty stupid. Okay, try again. I don't know if that's going to solve the problem, but that's definitely... No, I think, that, that, I think that's it, man. Oh. Yes, there it is. Okay, how to yes, <laughs> dude. Okay, let me see. So, we get the annotation, which is the return type, like just a yeah, list of integers. Yeah, this is the phone. Then the abstraction had that doesn't have a a type, so do nothing <laughs> there. With an f. Yeah, the, the f okay. is the name. Yes, and then we have another ab abstraction. No, 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 wait. We have two parameters, right? Where yeah, is the true. second? Oh, there, E abstraction. Okay, so it's just currying correctly. Yes, it's fine. And, then we have the last. and the last one has the infer type to be the type for. The Dude, amazing. It works. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, Try. wait. I want, no, no, I want to make it correct now because I changed it. So let's make it back. So control Z, Z. A bunch of okay, times. with the arrow. Yes. Right? Okay, let's go. And. It's wrong. Wait, on the E? Oh, it's isn't it the arrow? Like the second should be with a parenthesis? I think or so. Or the first, the first, yes. <laughs> awesome syntax. Yeah, it works, it works. Yes, dude, <laughs> very good. Okay, let's evaluate this, okay. this garbage. Let's so let's see. Oh, you're, uh, trying to, you're trying to not go to the type checking because you know it's gonna be hell, right? Not really, I don't think the type checking would be that hard. Okay, let's just start here. Where are we doing the let? We are doing it Why down there. Do you feel the need to... Oh, I think I understand. But like, why do... Oh, maybe I don't. Why do you feel the need to have a small colon before return type? Oh, we... Dude, most of our decisions are not like... Oh, oh it's because, necessary. Because it's, it's fancier. just like, no, no, oh, no, it, it looks is, cute. No, it is because it's fancier. The, the answer to your question in this case, to do like this instead of that, is because it's yeah. fancier. We, yeah, we are, Nathan and I agree that this is better, but I think Magetta wanted to do something like this. Oh, Let not that. Wait. Wait. Wait, to do what? I think you were the one crazy to do this, right? Ah, I wanted them to be <laughs> keywords, yes. <laughs> and then we discussed yeah, about just, it and then decided to do like that. I would vote for just removing the colon because it's not prefix, so it doesn't make sense here. Like, what, what does it do? Yeah. Oh, Nothing what did they do? They, well... Uh, if, because you see the, the parentheses. Here, because you see the, the parentheses on the f as well. Yeah. On the integer, like that is also useless. We're just adding that. No, that's that already because useless. Yes. That's because this is because you can do it like that. Oh yes, but well, what is the problem? The problem okay. is that without the parentheses, we were having a really hard time to parse. Oh, it just parses a list of types, and you get the last one, like which is the return. Let me remember why we didn't do that way. Because there oh, is a reason. There is a reason, there is a but reason. it's probably a dumb reason. But anyway. no, 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 I think it's a, or we are dumb, or it is a limitation. Of the oh, we are, but stuff. that's a fact. But <laughs> uh, anyway, um, well, we can remove it later. It's really easy to remove. Okay, the dude, let's so. let's focus on parsing this garbage here. So no. let me help me. Okay. So let's see. So what no, do already, we do? I already copy pasted here one for you, but okay, that's fine. What? Oh, you copied the list. Yeah. Okay, so let's think. We have a list of arguments, right? One, and then we have a name. Yeah. And then we have a maybe. Uh, return yeah, type. the return. Okay, so the first thing is to better match this guy. Uh, and yeah. then we have a boy. Actually, no, we can. Yeah, this could be in type checking. We can ignore completely this thing for now. Oh, man. So, body. So we just add these things to the to the environment, and then this thing evaluates this thing. That's it. So new wave. No wait, 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 wait. Is it just if for? Wait for. Oh, this is the name. Wait. Oh, dude, no, 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 dude, it's so stupid. It is just. How, what is the name of the function to add stuff to the map? Insert. I forgot. It is insert something. Insert. insert? Oh, I have it here. Okay. I oh. have a question. I'm oh. sorry. Do you guys want comments from me or? No, no. Go, I have, go no, on. Feel free to comment. 
do you always expect the body of the function to be a single form? <coughs> Uh, what do you mean by single form in this case? Yeah, like, a, like yeah. one list. In our case, yes. So you wouldn't be able to have something like, I don't know, print this and then print that? No, you need to wrap. Yes, we don't. No, we, we do have a program. Didn't you do that, Lemus? Before? Um, like an implicit program? I don't rem actually recall. I, 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 I think we... We ditched that from Silverware, normal Silverware to Silverware Plus because we, I don't know, it, it didn't feel useful at the time to have a, a, a implicit plugin. Mm -hmm. So maybe I we ditched it, but I don't remember quite well at the moment. Yeah, I don't remember as well. Um, okay, so, he, but here's the thing. No, like, this returns a closure. This is this. No, no, wait. That is the thing. We just we don't want to return a closure, right? Because that's not a loose statement in our file. Yeah, you see the problem? Nothing. Yes, exactly. So this is not doing anything. We just need to add this to the environment. Problem is, okay, we add to the environment. So what? We don't have mutability in Haskell to mutate the the environment like globally. So how do we do that? We we need to modify this and send it back to the to this oh. env, like you see, mutate this thing. So we may need to use a state we... monad then. Yeah, I was thinking of possibly a state monad or another function that wraps this function that we modify the instance there via some return, but then we want to have this env to return the environment for every eval for every expression it evolves and it will break everything, so that's also an option. Um, but painful. Okay, but let me see if I got it. So the problem is that this is the first use case in which the evaluator needs to mutate something globally. Yeah. Huh. So I have one quick dirty solution, but then you're going to have to help me because okay. I'm not a Haskellian. Okay, but uh, I need to think about that because... I, do we have infrastructure to do that? I don't know, but here's the my thing. We can do this. Should be a maybe. Okay. Uh. And how do we do this? What, what, do we need to add parentheses on a tuple? No, right? Uh, uh, no, I think in this case you will do. Okay, cool. Like the, you oops, are rewriting the state moment. So... Yeah. This and then, okay. In this case, we return nothing. New env. Oh, okay. So the maybe is just enclosing the first. And one. then we are gonna have to do another function like global. You are rewriting the state mode, Magita. Well, that's uh, in a dumb way, but yes. <laughs> you are a poor man's state mode. Uh, and then we do this, like, oh, well, we receive an environment. We receive actually env, and the. Uh, XPR, and then we do eval with environment, env, uh, like we keep looping into this and evaluating the next expression. This should be a list, right? Something like Why this. Why can't you just recreate an environment with an added thing and continue on? Because I can try to explain that. It's actually good to, uh, to try to explain because it's kind of hard in my opinion. Because why can't we do that? Right? Because the in the current state of the of the thing in the current state, which is this, you you gives us an environment. What is an environment? Let me also help you with that. An environment is a list. Quick spoiler. Functional programming sucks. That's the spoiler. I, I don't get this that spoiler, but okay. Oh, I said functional programming sucks. That was the spoiler. Yeah, but that's not. The I don't know how that correlates. No, to what because we have in F sharp, in, in F sharp, in Okamo, you could just do a ref to the environment, and then you just set. But you it. can also do this here. Well, can you? Yeah, you do have the type I or have for a reason. Oh, I see, see, see. You have a reference. Yeah, we could do this. Yeah. So, uh, going back to my explanation, uh, a prelude is basic. Uh, uh, environment is basically uh, a, a, a mapping. Map. It's exactly. Is a map between a name and some and a function and like something to to do with with that name to to correlate, and in here 
we have what we want to, to an expression, right? But yeah. when you define a function, this is not a pure expression. This is not a, uh, an expression that only depends on itself in an environment that can be evaluated to a result. This actually mutates to the other expressions. It, it is interfering with all the other ones. So the reason why we need to do all of this mutability crap is because uh, this ifun node that we just created and parsed it, uh, it, is, it is a dirty node, basically. That's the, that's the adult way, the plus 18 way of saying. It is a dirty, a dirty expression. Um, so you cannot Whoa. just mutate environment because this only affects this scope. The environment is new, and who cares? Nobody is aware of that. You see? Yeah, I'm thinking, like, maybe this could be... Maybe you could just, like, do a several traverses, and first time you just collect all the info, and then you have the full environment. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm get is suggesting. That's exactly what he's writing, actually. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, not a bad idea. So, I just don't know how to do it properly, though, because... Uh, I don't know if it's properly, but... And then they will deal with the shadowing, because I don't care. Uh, then we send experience here. This! Is that it? Let me double check. So this is the base case of the recursion, right? This line? Yeah. So when you have a function with only one expression, you just evaluate that. If you have a, f uh, uh, you want to evaluate multiple expressions, then you will evolve the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna grab yeah, the environment, environment of that. Ignore the result, <laughs> the possible result. <laughs> Ignore the possible result. <laughs> I don't know what oh we God, should do so with that, to be honest. Uh, sorry. I don't know what we should do with that, to be honest. Because that depends, right? Like, no, that doesn't depend, that? actually. Um, yeah, you always just want to return. Well, we can accumulate them and return a list with all the evaluated expressions. That's yeah, I don't see why not. That's actually not a bad idea. So, we can, we, we can even make it uh, tail call, optimized. So we can put, you know, result, and then this is going to be result, uh, result, cons, uh, this. Do uh, you want to concat? Oh, wait, in, in Haskell, is it like this? Yeah, it's only, only oh, yeah, it this is, no, it is only one, like this. Oh, that's, okay. Uh, because this is the cons, literally. Okay, in no combo, it's like this. Then you do like that, and then you do the rest. Oh, and this is for annotating, right? So let's try to... What is what is the actual type of this thing? So this receives an evo involve. An evo inf. Yeah. A list. And it returns a tuple. Not a... Not a no, not, not a tuple. It returns a list of result t values. That's it. Yeah. That works. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Um, and then, well, I, I changed the annotation, right? I mean, it needs to be the tuple with the result and the inv. Uh, actually, that's there's a gotcha. Now I understand why do, did you want you want the maybe? Yeah, it's because this this case we're not returning All any. All inv here. Um, we um, need the, oh, we need the pure garbage here. So for now, just for now, uh, if this is a just R, oh, I see. Then so oh man, this. and if you have a nothing, you're just gonna call that recursively, like that. Okay, and now every, everything is kind of wrong, so we need to fix it. We just gotta be very careful not to mutate the environments on operations that we don't want yeah, to. Yeah, but th that's right? easy. The only, the only. I don't know if that's easy, man. But. 
Oh, yeah, we, are, we might be shadowing <laughs> some. Uh, yeah. That can be bad. So okay, that's, just that's just go bad. looking carefully, one by yeah, one. Yeah, that, that's, that's not bad. Uh, I love how Lemus is always so optimistic about everything. <laughs> oh, no, not everything. I'm, I'm just saying that evaluation should be fairly easy. I am afraid of the type checking. That's a completely different conversation. Yeah, the type checking is... If it breaks, Oops. it breaks. Types are useless anyway. Do that. <laughs> That's why Commander is rewriting his language. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing something completely useless. Completely <laughs> <laughs> useless. Time. Oh, but that's that's like low self-esteem. I'm doing oh, something yeah. completely useless. It is cool. You, you are you are interacting with like one of the first pioneers in the functional programming. Oh no, dude! This okay. We are nuking right now. Any possibility we once had of having uh, tail call optimization on this case. Are we? Are we? Why? Look here. Where I am. Sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> I, I couldn't uh, not. I couldn't not joke that one. I'm sorry. Uh, what is the problem? Well, oh wait, this function already returns that, right? So oh, yeah. you can just yeah, okay, never mind. It's fine. Oh, the native function one is a problem. Yes, this one is the problem. So just and we need to be aware of new AMs going on at some point. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> like, <coughs> okay, here oh we go. Oh my care. god! What? Okay, we are always we are also calling them sometimes like recursively, man. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there's no, there's no other solution to this. There's yes. No other... <laughs> oh no, man. There is no other solution. I'm so so sorry. And then a closed dev. Where is the closed dev coming from? I have no idea. Oh, it comes. From oh wait, we're getting from the closure now. Oh man. <laughs> it's cold, man. <laughs> well, we are rewriting the state moment. What can I but do? But I'm pretty sure we're fucking up with something and then no, we're gonna we have are, to go on we are rewriting stuff. We are rewriting the state moment. I am okay, a here. thousand percent sure. New wave. And then yes. Zip. Oh, Whoa. dude! Oh, I just what do we do something. here? Well, we have a problem. I get that we do have a problem. Oh man, uh, we have many problems, but which one? Is that a problem, though? Let me think of it. We have a problem here, I guess, on this floor. Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely a problem. But that we have other problems, because right now. If you define the the the, defini the user defined functions are being parsed as an expression, that means that you can have a def fun inside the let. Yes, you can. Yes. Should we allow that? <laughs> I Me, mean, it's just causing an effect, right? It's not doing anything. Well, it's dumb, right? It's kind of dumb. Who the, who the heck would want to do that? <laughs> well, we trust the user not to do it, right? We can try to do it. Let's see what happens. And what's the problem again? The problem uh, is yeah. we are parsing user-defined functions as expressions. Yeah. And when we have a let, in our language, we are binding names with expressions. Yeah. Which means that you can have a let and then bracket, bracket, a, defun. <laughs> But the def okay. doesn't return anything, right? No, it returns well, a body. Make it return, make it return the name of the function. E we can make it return unit. So we, then we don't need the just, right? We can make it return a v. Wait, I am uh, confused. What are you talking about, Magetta? Like this, and the unit. Why not make it return the name though? Because. Oh. Because the return of the. What do you mean return the name? What do you mean by that? Like the, the label. Yeah, yeah label, but we need yeah. to return the return the return value of the body. We don't return the name. No, no, no. 
define doesn't evaluate the body, it just defines the function, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, but it should return something. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. actually true. Make it return label. Yeah, we could. We, we don't have right now, by the way, uh, the abstraction of symbols. <laughs> so that's why I said How it's a fake. How do you like it, it's a fake lisp. Of that? It's a fake lisp, man. I told yeah, you. but but like, how fake is it? <laughs> it, just, <laughs> at, at <this> <laughs> it just has the clothes of it. It it is I not. Mean, I mean, it's a fake C plus plus at this point. <laughs> as well, right? Yeah. Yes. No, it's so, not a fake C plus plus. It's not even close to C plus plus, man. It's not even close. Well, it's it's not very close to like. Lisp, I would say, as a fact. Yes, it is as close to Lisp as is Haskell. So, yeah, let's return unit for now, and then later we add a symbol abstraction on the literals, and then we can return here, and then we add the symbols and the type checking as well, and so on. Let's do this now, let us. Wait, what do so, you want to do now? I, I didn't so, I want to return, instead of nothing here, we return, instead of, like, maybe, we oh, always return gonna, just... That makes yes. a lot more sense. So every expression returns something now. So just look at the the justs. So now I think it gets a little easier no, for us to... No, it's just as bad, but it's fine. Oh, dude, it's cold. It's just as fine. Um, dude, can you, can you restore this file? I don't feel comfortable with just like... Just let me copy this part, okay, <laughs> and restore this git. Like, from how, git. I don't know how to restore... Uh, last time? Let me let me see your screen. Uh, click on the go to Visual Studio. Click on this six thingy. Uh, click there and where what is the final evaluator? So click on the arrow. Discard. Yes. Okay. Now the file is as it was. Okay. So let's review, revisit this function. So it will be... Oh, this function doesn't change, right? Just a moment. Oh, wait, this was actually wrong. This would not type check. Oh, my fuck. This needs, needs to be this. But okay, now, now it is okay. Oh, I see. To get the first thing. Uh, <coughs> okay, so now let's do again the evolve environment for the... If fun with the uh, name, I don't think we have a okay. way. Yeah, but the, the problem is still there, Maget. The, the same problem. We need to reverberate the, the change in the environment to everybody else. Yeah, what's the problem? Let's just do it. No, but if we change the environment here and we return a unit, that will not affect the later expressions. Yes, what's the problem? We're not changing but it anything. Should. What? 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 Yeah, it should No, have, it shouldn't. No, it should. If I have a def fun in the beginning of my file, and uh -huh. I have a let body, at a let expression later at some point, and the let, mm -hmm. the, and the let, and the let block is calling the, the function that I just defined, in this manner... No, that's why this. That's why this, I agree. But do you agree that we need to do the tuple thing in order to work? Yes. Okay, so... I, don't I was know just why we revert doing. The changes, but no, okay. we just reverted because I was scared of like because we were adding the maybe, right? So I was scared that we were like messing something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. now we understand. So it's okay, a, let's. It's a map lookup. No, a map insert is this. Oh yeah, sorry. Map insert, and then the name. Okay. But you need to change the names here. So this is env. This is. Oh, dude, I'm mistyping everything. <laughs> the best thing wait. was like, how fake is it? <laughs> wait, 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 I am confused. Um, so, what are you, we are adding the name of this function and its body. Oh, the body is already enclosing the abstraction stuff with the current. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have parentheses, you need a dollar and vice versa. Oh, okay. I'm just blindly adding the dollar. Okay, so, okay, so, so uh, now we just to change this, so it is a result value with the second thing as the evolve Yeah. 
And then now we need to change everything to be a tuple. Everything to be a tuple, yeah. So this is evaluated the lambs. And this is env. I will do I'll do from below and then you do from there. Oh thanks. You're gonna get the hard ones. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have picked this. Anyway. Okay, I'll leave the operator aside because I yeah, I don't know. We, we, that's. Uh, oh man. I, Dude, I'm there must be a smart way to no, do this. The smart way is the state moment. Yes, I, but I'm not smart. No, <laughs> so. I, I, I think I know how to use it, but I need to, I need to recheck. Because I never properly use it, so sort of. Full bell. Uh, okay, so this is the one that. The best, the worst thing is that I don't have LSP, so I don't know what some functions here are doing. I also don't have LSP, but it's a good exercise, though. Okay, this I do. So. I don't know how we're gonna like, map. Like, we're gonna have to unzip the forest, dude. That's the solution. Yes, that will be very hard. Not hard, just inconvenient. Oh, man, it will. Man, if you are. You, you should evaluate your, your classifying as hard. I don't know how the heck, what the heck we're gonna do the type check. Yeah, the, the type check is retarded. <laughs> Not that would be mad. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, really mm. this is. This will get very confusing. Yeah, on this environment sometimes, we can ignore. Sometimes you return an environment, for instance, when I'm testing the, the predicate of the of the, con the E condition. I don't care yeah. about the... I just care about the boolean of the predicate, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care about its environment. Yeah, these operators are exactly this. Uh, ooh, okay, so this is, this is where the 4 begins. Yeah, we have some forms here, and you're gonna fix them because I don't know. <laughs> you're gonna fix them. Uh, unzip this. Um, so this will be. True. How fake is it? <laughs> oh, man. Do you have automatic variable capture? By we the have way? we have nothing, man. I see. Dude, think think of like. A, Think of his uh, commander. Nata knew how to do a very good ML type system with all the ML goodies from following like the standards from this book that we're following. And then we started doing an ML and then like we said, okay, like to parse, it would be better to parse like S expressions, right? So we just started doing like S expressions to parse and fitting into an OCaml type system, you see? So that's how this language was born. That's the idea. Yeah, but do you plan to have automatic variable capture? I think it is <coughs> this way in Haskell as well. Oh my god, Magito. Wait. Oh no. What? what? Oh my god. We how no. we gonna heck with the, how the heck are we gonna do the force? Because now the fours are are parallel. They, they need to be in serial now. Mm. Okay, let me see. I just lost all my will to continue. Uh, <laughs> I just lost all I will to continue. <laughs> okay, let me think now. I think, uh, my man, I think the only solution would be recursion. Or so, the state okay, the, the Latin. Okay, the Latin like in like inherits the context of the last one, right? Yeah, no, but we don't semantically. It, it, it should be in parallel. The Latin. It should be. But the problem is that they evolve with environments. No, dude, I don't think it changes anything. No, it changes because. Wait. Doesn't change anything? Am I going whatever? No, on the land it doesn't. Like, if you weren't causing an effect inside the. effect in the environment, I mean. Oh, okay. Inside no, you're it, right. you were then... totally right. Okay, okay, I'm okay, so this, this is fine, this is fine, it's not a problem. 
Okay, so we can unpack the fours with that. I see. Yeah, we will need that. You need to F map that in, 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 to use and zip. Yes. You also don't care here, I guess. Yes. What is this one? This is the op operator and. The, yeah, we don't care about the environment. We don't care about the environment. about this one as well I guess oh no no mm -hmm. wait this is the let plus are you sure that we don't count this one mm, yes we don't yes we don't because this is the promo <clears throat> yeah. yeah okay so the end doesn't matter the or doesn't matter as well the equal doesn't matter this is all the other ones okay I guess the evaluator is done the only thing that we need to change now is to go to the main function and change to globa globally evolve instead of. Uh Dude, a commander raised the point. I'm thinking now about our scopes, and I'm not even sure how they work. To be honest. What do you mean? They got out of my control. I don't know. What, what do you mean by your question? Can you rephrase? Like, that? how the scopes are behaving now? I don't know. How the scopes are behaving. Yeah, like, you define something outside, and then you inherit the scope from the other... Yeah, I'll take... I'll, I'll, I'll think of this first, and then we no, can talk about it. No, but this also happens in other programming languages. When you define a function... No, yes, but function, I don't know inherent. what we are doing. That's the problem. No, we are doing that. What we are doing is exactly that. We are creating, quote-unquote, a virtual global environment yeah. using the state... The poor's main state that we made with the tuple. The poor's main state. No, this is exactly... Man, uh, the type signature of the state mode is almost this. You, you don't understand. Uh, just replaces the evolve env with A's. And then you're done. Uh, but anyway... Can you have it defined inside the let? Not as a... Like, as you described before, but just basically let x1 and then define inside that. And so the function turns into closure. Wait, can you can you write that down uh, as an example in I don't know, the yes. chat? Okay, sure. okay, let's see if the evaluator is, is done. You know what's funny? In F sharp it would be this. Uh no V unit, okay. We have some problems. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's my F sharp code. <laughs> it's the F sharp code. Okay. Deleted? No, just use the Haskell comment. I want to read that. Oh. Um, like okay. this. Let x1 def fun. Yeah, you can do that. And it will see the x, right? Yeah, it will. It will. Yeah. Okay. It will see the x. Okay, so stateful stack. And then you do a state. Yeah, but you're using a computation expression, so basically it is the same as the denotation, and this state is also... Uh, yeah, so instead of push, in Haskell we do put. Yeah, no, like, this is just a, an API that do defined, like, it's not even, like, native or something. No, oh, okay. No, like, okay, so this, oh, this is just to say, no, this is just to say, like, he, he just did this stateful wrapper around it, and he defined the computation expression, so it's a lot easier to handle states. Okay, have problems. Let's go. So 160. 160 in evaluation. 160. We wait. don't even have 160 lines. What? Yes, I, I think that's wrong. Wait, that's not evaluator. What the heck? 160. Oh wait, we deleted a code. Run it again. You deleted code. <laughs> yeah, I deleted the comments. 146. Oh, 146. What? Oh, here. Okay, so it's probably types. Oh, this. Yeah, this. This should be this with the eval. Yes. The eval. Which reminds me. Um, yeah, we need to change probably on yeah, the front. We need to change, we need to change yeah. the main function as well. I would one, say front end sec. then. I'm getting scared. One sec, one sec. So where we call evolve? We call in here. Okay, we need to call global, global evolve now. Mm -hmm. All in all the places that we, we are calling evolve. Wait, global do we need evolve. to call global evolve? Yes. And these will return to yes, us a tuple do. of a value and an environment. 
don't care. Where else we are calling that? So Evo. Also in here. Lobo. Wait, we need to change this evolve function as well, right? No, the the evolve function. No, no, yes. I, we will delete the evolve. But we're just gonna use the global evolve. Okay. So let me go okay. away. Okay. So next. We need to remove okay. the import. Okay. One twenty one. Here. Uh. We are folding. Okay, I didn't touch these because I was scared. So I think... Yes, I think he's just adding a tuple. Oh, that didn't work. Cool. Uh. Wait, the actual thing was a value evolving. Is env being... Env is this, right? Yes. We are not renaming it or shadowing or stuff. No, we're not. What the? Okay, so it is saying that the type of that is again a tuple. Which is surprising. Yes, that's very strange. That's very weird. Oh, wait, wait, there's an error here as well. Let's double check that. So maybe the unzip is not the solution. Let me think. Okay, so what is... What is the type of the four? Uh, uh, the type of the four is whatever is this. So this is a neither. And in the T is a list in our case. So this is a neither with a list inside. We are F mapping the either with an unzip. And that should what work. is a zip? That should work. A zip just picks the thing inside? Is yeah, that? yeah, the F map is is going to is being applied to this, the unzip. This mm -hmm. is what the F map does, right? You are you this is the either. Read F as an either. It's literally like this. Either yeah. list B. It's this. Yeah, so the go. F is the either and the and the T is the list. So we are F mapping the list with unzip, which makes sense, right? Now I am curious if I'm just using it wrong. So let's go to Hugo. So unzip. We have a list of tuples. You want to have a, a tuple of lists. It's exactly what we want. So I am confused. How much time are we on? One hour and 20 minutes. Okay, let me read this again. Okay. So Is there anybody saying... watching this freak show? No, so... there's nobody. Okay, People just gave sense. up. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Uh... Oh, man. I'm gotta, so gotta submit a batch of only, like, improvements to make it lispy. Not lo just a fake lisp. The expected value is correct, that that's what, what we want. But the actual mm -hmm. value, the first one is correct, but the second one is another tuple. How that's... I don't understand why is it changing the, the type, because, well, if you're getting from the fame thing... Could it be man? Like... What is the result of this fold? Fold L. Fold L, the result of fold L is uh, uh, of, of this one in specific, I want to know. This is picking a list of these guys. Picking a list of these guys. Oh, I see. Do you? Yes, I do see. Okay. So, that, your question is the answer, actually. What is the return? Oh, dude. <laughs> I see, I see. Because <laughs> each one of the garbage has an environment on itself. No, right? no, it's not that. It's not that. No? The answer is, the, what is the return type of this folder, whatever, whatever. This mm -hmm. needs to return a value. But this is a, li this a, li this list, of, is a list of results. 
Not a list of values anymore. Oh, because they're not unpacking. Oh, man, I see. They're not unpacking anymore, right? Like, with the moment. Um, like, we're not unpacking the things themselves, right? Anymore. We're just unpacking the macro thing, which is the tuple. Holy fuck. Holy Wait. Wait. Wait a sec. Oh, man. I know why, what is the error. We are, we, are, we are just... Oh, man. We are so fucking dumb. Why? Ah, this is this is tired. Go to line forty-one. Okay, I can see. <sighs> this. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> makes total sense now, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay, now this should work though. So. Let's see. Uh, okay, less errors. That's great. Uh, it's somewhere we forgot. We forgot. Trend. It's places that we forgot. One, one, three, and one eleven. Let me go to one eleven. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Yeah. Oh, this one we gotta add here. Yeah. Um, okay. Next. Uh, okay. One eleven. Oh, I didn't. I save. Save, sorry. Okay, next. The one ninety four is also missing. Okay. Uh, I think it was a typo, right? Uh, oh, yeah, you forgot to write. Yeah, but I still have errors. We still have errors. Okay. Uh, Sixty nine. Nice. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> I right. can't. I literally can't. Um, aren't we but missing a return? It's it is not inside the do. It is. Right? Oh yes, it is. It is inside. The... Mm. Oh, it is because this returns a result, I guess. Yeah. This is a native function. I already forgot what that is. One sec. It is a thing that picks a value, returns a result. Yeah. So. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't, that's not a problem, that's not a problem, actually. We just add a do. We call this result. Okay. And then we just do peer return. with the top of this, with or the other. Peer. Let's use peer, actually. So peer. Yeah. yeah. And then result here. That should be enough. Okay, next. So, 49. So, same thing, I guess. No, it's the four. Yeah, we need to unzip this. Mm -hmm. uh, a list can't, uh, a list can't change the environment as far as I know, right? <laughs> well, I hope, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so forty-five. Forty-five. Um, what is the problem? He's complaining that. Couldn't match expect type literal with actual type value. How is the list gonna change the environment? It can't. Yeah, that that that's what, why <laughs> why my get said I hope not <laughs> because it doesn't make yeah, no, sense. <laughs> but I don't understand. I think it can. Oh, it can in your opinion. Yeah. If we have a default inside the list, right? You kind of yeah. could. Yeah. yeah, but man, that's, but I think that in our case. <laughs> <laughs> that would oh, be so possible. unnatural. You can oh, use Arlen, a function in the later I mean, elements to be, of the list. To be fair, our language should be entirely composed of lists, right? So the <laughs> abstraction is wrong to begin with, but... Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. That's okay. But since we're just on the fake dance, that, that's fine, I guess. Oh, I think our list is just like literals. Like, is, no, the niche will... R they need to evolve to literals, so that is the... Wait, I am mm. very confused at the moment. So, a literal is this type... Oh, but wait, uh, the foom will evolve to a literal as well, which is like the name of it, or in this case, un unit. Hey, it is L unit. I'm so confused. So, where the heck we have the unit? Oh, here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so this is wrong. 
next. Uh, can you repeat that, Magetta? I didn't get what you mean. Like, later, like, it kind of makes sense for us to add that, like, uh, a list. Because right now, we are evaluating our list to literals, right? Um, yes. So, think about this, like, Okay, you can actually define then uh, the foo inside the list, right? Because, it, well, it returns a literal. Mm -hmm. Like, look at what the, the function does on the... on the a foo. Uh, it returns a unit. It returns a valid unit. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you can. So you can have a defoo inside the... Yeah, yes, can. but but on our abstraction on a list, we're not being able to change the environment, correct? Uh, in our abstraction, can you repeat that? Yeah, we're not changing the environment, like on the list here, on this function. Which one? Oh, the e list. I'm we're highlighting. We're not doing what, sir? We're not sharing the environment for what was defined. So, for example, if you do something like cursed like <laughs> this <laughs> yeah but that's the problem you can uh, like I, I i know it makes sense like oh i have a list of units and one of the members of the list is a deaf phone yeah you, you're not wrong but you know what i mean yes but we the thing is we allow this to happen but we're not handling this case so our code is actually wrong right no which case you're not handling can like, you exemplify yeah, to me exactly? Okay, so what does this evolve to? Uh, this evolves to at least right now unit. Yeah, right? I think we are using this, this right? Yeah, this this will evolve to that, yeah. So what is the problem with this? The problem with this is we're adding this ABC to the environment. Yes. But we're forgetting it. Yeah, because the only use case for that would be if another member of the list, I don't know, this, is calling ABC in the middle of the thing, and then... No, not really, right? This. Like, what, what Commander is advocating for, I think, is changing this to allow this to modify the scope so you, you go on another line and you do ABC1, something like this, you see? After defining this list, because it modified the environment. But but you are man that but that look at your what you're advocating. You are advocating that in the middle of the list you are yes. defining a function yes. you want to use later. Like that's not a concern at the moment. I, I think we, I think we should, that's cursed. No, no 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 no. I, I agree that's cursed. <laughs> but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is. That is a case we need to handle, and we are not doing it right now. So we better remember, at least remember this. Let's leave this documentation here. <laughs> the, the, the cursed scenario, but okay. I think you are hard coding quite a lot, I would say. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, but uh, that's what I don't understand. You are you 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 brought Commander one case that I think it's bad. I don't, I didn't like it. That's uh, that's why I'm not uh, I'm voting to not allow it actually. But um, like uh, what what I am hard coding aside from not allowing to have to the for some random reason oh, no. the final the functions of the list. This, uh, this, uh, what's it called? Uh, what I said was not about this particular case. It was just about that, for example, you. Let me think actually. Uh, just one thing our lists are like the way they are. It's not the way we wanted it to be because they are not defined as a constructor. It's just an interop with Haskell at the moment. Yeah, it's just an interop at, uh, with the Haskell at the moment. Yeah, that's true. We don't have oh. a pipe constructor and all of that thing for like a list. And other things as well, like records and so on. Okay, that's better. I don't know if that's a 
that's gonna work because for some, GH is complaining about something I don't understand. Let me see. Um, mapping search is that how you use mapping search? Label arg and the close. What is exactly evolving? It is a map. You're don't mapping. you then? Oh, doesn't that need to be a result? Oh, oh no 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 no. Okay okay yeah yeah. Yeah. So you need to first evolve the body. No, you don't yeah, need. Yeah, you, you do need because this map. Look at the map. The map of the that we have, the evolve env, is a map from a text to a value, and the body is an oh, expression. Oh yes, we need a closure. Yes, that's right. Uh, so this needs to be evolved with environment. Yes, uh, we need to get a closure out of this. Yeah. And then body. Why do we need a closure? Well, this is a value, right? This is an abstraction that needs to be a closure. You can ignore the environment there. This is something that needs to be a closure, you say? Yeah, a closure is an evaluated uh, function, right? Without any input. Oh, okay, that makes sense, actually. Okay, this so off. Uh, I'll have dinner, I'll be back in a second. You go yeah, suffering second. with this. Well, maybe not a second, but you got the idea. <laughs> Commander, um, that's that's what I mean with the uh, in this particular case. I'm not, I'm not saying maybe you're right. Maybe we are restricting stuff that we shouldn't. But in this specific case of defining functions inside a list, I don't like it, and I think Nathan would hate it. Uh, so, so then you do a map with the environment. You also seem to misuse quote. I mean, at least. Um, oh, you mean this? No, no, no. I mean, in the comments. Oh, you mean no, this? this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but the reason we did it in that way is because this was the fastest way to parse this. Continue using the brackets as the enclosed stuff for the list. Because I think that we, if we did like that, if you did with the parentheses for the list, I think that would be okay, actually. That would be able to parse. Uh, but when we decided to use brackets, that would be very hellish to do because everything uses brackets. So we decided to add a, a token to, to, to tell us that, okay, this may be a list, actually. Pay attention. Instead of like a name or stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is a really... Um, uh, how do I put it? You have, uh, there's this um, philosophical theory about how people don't see the real world and what they see is compared to, you know, shadows on the of the cave, shadows from the, uh, I don't know, shadows from a burning flame. So there's a cave and there are people and they're dancing around the burning flame. And there are shadows on the wall. And what you see is not the reality, but like the shadows on the wall. So what you do is not a lisp. It's just no, just but the only person the that advocates that this is a lisp is my Gitan. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I would never, ever say any any state like that. Uh, because I know that at the, the only thing that we are mimicking precisely as Lisp does, is the S expressions. Aside from that, yeah. I don't know anything what you're talking about, what Magetta is talking about. I think he's only talking about the memes, though. So. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not necessarily saying, like... Um, well, I'm not saying what Magetta said about the, that this is a Lisp. I, would, I wouldn't say that. Because at the moment that we add the type system, we enforce the statically typed. I already said, okay, this is not Lisp anymore. This is something else. Well, no, Lisp can be statically typed. It's it's not about that. No, it can be, but that's not the standard, as far as I know. Well, it's it's not it's not how it is usually done, but it can be done. There is Carp and stuff, Colt and something else, Shen. These three Lisps that are statically typed. Yeah, 
yeah, no, that part uh, I have, I'm not um, familiar with, but I totally understand that it pop, maybe uh, there are people that use this statically typed. Although that's not usually how I see people using it. But, uh. Uh, unpack uh, name and unpack and show show order. Yeah. Okay. Not too, not too bad. Um, okay. Variable not in scope. Line 44, here. Oh, fun body. Body. Yes. In that case, we don't need to have this code here. Variable not in scope, arc value. Variable not in scope, arc value. Arc value, what the heck? Oh, I didn't change this. So name, oh it's label and body. Oops. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. You evolve the function of the user-defined function. You get a closure, that's what we expect. That closure has a label and a body. I already forgot, uh, I think we were using this in here, yeah, in here. Abstraction. I think this is type the type and return type. And this is the body, and then you just create a closure with the name, the body, and the end. The body and the end. Hmm. Very confusing. This is confusing. Our map is a text to a closure. Our map is a text to a closure. Oh wait. You can just call this closure. Yeah, closure. You can forget about all of this madness here. record patterns, okay, each need. fair enough. Then you're gonna bind the name of the function to the closure, of course. You're gonna call new env, and this, instead of returning that, this needs to return pure vunit Okay, that worked. Okay, 38. What is wrong with our 38? Oh, I know. Wait, oh my god. Why? Discord is lagging on me. Let me kill it.
this is the moment the, the do notation that I definitely didn't use that much. I'm back. trying to remember how to use the do notation for lists because I don't. Oh, you just do an arrow step. Okay. So you pick an XPR out of XPRs. Oops. Oops. Then Then you call this hmm. uh, yeah, that sucks. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Oh, of course it sucks because this is wrong. It shouldn't be this, it should be this. So fucking dumb. Okay, now it makes more sense. So now we're gonna have uh, this again. Results. Oh, that's why we need recursively. That's why we did recursively. Okay. So return. Oh, this function is kind of hard because we need to use recursion in order to carry the environment on and on. But we need to be able to short circuit. And we need to be able to, we need to use the notation here, and this do needs to be this guy. Hmm. Um, how the heck are we going to do that? I think we're gonna have to do the other way around, unfortunately. That sucks. We're gonna have to do a list of results instead of a result of a list. That's kind of, yeah. Well, not not my jam. There is a function called fold m. I think this is the guy instead of using recursion. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Our B is the environment. Is that it? Man, my dad is still pissed. <laughs> with the with the match, oh, this afternoon. Brazil match. Yeah, dude. Imagine having any expectations we would win. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway. So what happened when I was away? Wait, isn't that line wrong? I'm Forty. Yeah, it is. But I noticed that we have a kind of an issue. Oh no. We have another monad interacting with the result now, which is the least one. <coughs> what? Yeah, because we want to. Do you agree that this do notation, we want to be the do notation of the <coughs> result? So then this will like this will be the tuple that we are. That we are oh, I see. But this is a list. <coughs> so we have uh -huh. one, one option would be to uh, to do like transformers with the either in the list. Yeah. But the other option is to use this function right here. Hold on. Okay. Which is the monadic fold. <coughs> so just change this. Ask you let's just some arcane witch here. Fold them. <coughs> and we're gonna have a fun here. 
Dude, there are so many functions in Haskell that I just get lost. Now Lemus is laughing like a little bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> what can I do for you, man? <coughs> oh, man. This, this. oh my god, man. Are you Don't okay? make me laugh, man. I'm gonna die. <coughs> ah. Ah, man. Man. What are, you, what are you doing, man? And this would be the new AF. J just, just bear with me here. Info, okay. this, XPR. Um, so this will be a do notation. Which means that in here we have a result and the new AF. Then, we need to return uh, two things. Which is, the, we need to append the value, so we need to do value result cons, mm -hmm. and we need to pick this new end and pass that after. Okay, so, what are the actual odds that this will just work? What is he complaining of? Oh, this oh, yeah. Okay, so let me explain what Dude, I don't understand happening. this notation here. Uh, like, is this getting things from here and dismembering them? Like, I don't get this because this should be a function, right? So. And it is, but. Okay, this now it's like, correct. Okay, like, okay, like, okay, never mind. This is just like pattern matching stuff. Yeah, so let me, let me, exactly, this pattern matching, but let me explain. So, this fold, just look at the types. Okay, so mm -hmm. this whatever is this, this is the fu the function that we're gonna use to fold whatever we're doing. Yeah. Um, this uh, and actually there's a gotcha here. Okay. Uh, okay, so, and this is the f initial state of the mm -hmm. accumulator, and this mm -hmm. is the things that, that we want to iterate upon and fold them. Right? Okay. So in our case, we want to iterate and fold the expressions. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But we want to accumulate each one of the results. We don't want to like mess them around. We want to have all of them. So our accumulate needs to be a list. Oh, uh, okay, I see. But we also need to pass around the environment that we were doing recursion before mm -hmm. to do that. Um, so what is happening is this function grabs the accumulator, which is the type B here. This accumulator is composed of two things in this case. It is composed out of the values, the final mm -hmm. answers of each expression. And the environment that each expression provided. Yeah. And this is the expression that we want to evaluate at the moment. Yeah. This is expressions. Yeah, then, this is not that complicated then. Yeah, it's no. it's exactly like a fold, but it can mm -hmm. short circuit with the moment along the way, and yeah. it, we don't have to mess around with the either and the list interacting with each other. We can just do this. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this way, it works. And why do we need the first, right? Because the fold will return a result t of the of the tuple. Yeah. But we don't want the environment. We just want the value. So then you f map a first to it. Mm -hmm. And that that should work. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so let's see where the fold stuff lives. Control mode. This was just evaluate, but we still have time checking. Just work, just work. Uh, uh, we, oh, we removed the vowel. Just to change the name. Ah, uh, no! 
Oh, get functional value. What is that? This that is on the prelude. It, uh, the prelude broke now. Okay, but that should be easy to fix, I think. Okay, so which line is complaining? No, every every rider have evolved. 129. Here, this guy is complaining. This guy is complaining. <coughs> Evolve doesn't exist anymore. Yes. So this is Global Evolve now. Mm -hmm. uh, but Global Evolve doesn't return uh, a result T of a value. Oh no. It returns yes. a result T of a list. Uh, yeah. Well, we can return the last. Well, that's. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's wrong, but. Yeah, like. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we, we definitely have more evolves in here. No, we don't. But oh, that's cool. Uh, put the space afterwards. No, but you only have three occasions. So. Oh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so another question though is the evolve being imported? Uh, how is that? Oh, the global wave, right? Oh, here. Didn't import. Oh, just importing everything. Yeah. Okay. okay, next. So, the Body. prelude 129 is still wrong, apparently. Oh, so it was expression, and now it's expression list. So, so, just change... Wait, what is the problem? So, before, it was an expression only, a single expression. Oh, it needs expression. to be body with wrapped with uh, brackets. Yeah, this needs to be this. <coughs> okay, compile. Oh, oh no, it doesn't. Lobo. Oh, a, uh, I forgot uh, the. Did I miss this in the beginning also? No. Dude, imagine doing this on a big compiler. Like, I think people would plan better, but. <laughs> Do you have any questions about that, my friend? <laughs> uh, At least on the ST, I can already spot. Okay. You are crazy. Yeah. Let me just what? think of. Oh, I oh shouldn't that be an F, um, F map? Yeah. And up there. Oh no, no, up there we are we are getting the two things. Yeah, we are getting ignoring the ignoring the final environment. Okay, it's not working again for some reason. So So it is it expected an IO either of an A B two yeah. Yeah, no, this is a tuple, and then there are two types here that can be whatever. When Haskell starts putting numbers yeah. with the letters, you just ignore that. And But this is awesome. the, the, it's saying that the actual is what we want. You see? So actually, I don't need to do anything about that. I don't need to do first. Because it's already the type that I want. It is saying here yeah. that the type mm -hmm. that it is actually, it is already what we want. So I don't even care. Uh, the same applies to this, I guess. So yeah, I think so. I don't know what was the, the type we were. Oh, I know why. That. I know why. Let me explain. I can explain. So okay. I was, in my mind, I was reading Global Evolve as Evolve with Environment. And wait, if what is Global Evolve spitting? No, it's a, a result a value. A result T of a list of values. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have a. Uh, I guess we're gonna have another type of error soon, but let's see. Yeah, yeah. I, I, at I least, figured, at I least you'll know where it's failing. Imagine for Python. Um, <coughs> let me see if the print message is what I want. What is the for underscore? I don't know. It is a function that picks. It picks a list of things. Kay. For each of those things, um, it's going to apply, like the A inside the okay, list, I see. it's going to yeah. apply something. In our case, it's <coughs> right? 
Mm-hmm. But it's going to ignore this value and just return as IO unit, which is what we want. Yeah, I see. So I don't even know where the heck this thing lives because the, for some random reason the fours are... The fours are the worst of the bloat. That's what I hate. I really don't understand why the heck they, they, they did it in this way, but... It is what it is, I guess. And this also means this. Let's go to this one first. So, oh, okay. This one makes sense. This is a list. Okay. Next. Okay, so expected. IO to IOB1 with an either text value. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is return. This this is returning an either. Just accept that this is returning an either. This yeah, bind okay. is if it's right instead of left, right? Mm -hmm. This will unwrap the right. So we have a list of values on this part, and these will not type check, right? Because this is expecting an either. Oh, I see. So what we can do to fix that is actually to do for this print message uh, dollar, and then remove what all of that from the end. Okay, and what does this print message do? It's just print. If you have a success, you print blue. If you have a, an error, you print red. Mm. Okay. That, that is what it's doing. It's just a thing to make fancy different the rebel stuff. Okay, now it is complaining about the other stuff. Um, let me think. It's applied to two few arguments. What the heck? Oh, isn't uh, it? I don't know if I know actually. No I think idea. I'm already reaching my. Wait, you're composing. I, let me explain. So wait, 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 wait. But I can I can explain to you if you want. You can try to figure it out on your own if you want also. Let me just read. Okay, because that run accept is launching in a uh, next an either, right? Yes, but we, this is the I/O monad. Do you see the put here? Yes. So this is doing the magic first. This is grabbing the either from this guy and saying, okay, you actually need to be an IO for me and then something happened. And then now we can interact with this put because this mm -hmm. is printing stuff on the screen. So this is IO, which means that this bind is IO, which means that whatever is going on here needs to be IO as well. But we have a problem with that, that this is an either. Mm -hmm. And as we discussed, I don't know how many sessions ago, you cannot, if you want to combine the two functionalities, you do need to use some sort of transformers. So this function, this is already mm -hmm. doing that. This is why the result T is using a result. The global T is, returns a result T. The T yeah. is for transformer there. And this guy mm -hmm. is doing the bridge between this world and this yeah, world. This IO. All of this just to print. No, all of this to have the <laughs> either and the IO. Um, if you want just IO, which is, by, which by the way, I can do unsafe perform IO and just print. No, you... <laughs> my, uh, uh, my boss suggested me that we should actually, instead of doing the either, because we want the program to terminate altogether, we don't want it to continue when it fails, mm -hmm. we, should use, we should use exceptions with IO. So then we don't have to use transformers. You can use IO. Oh, yes. That's, that, yeah, that's actually a good... Uh, so I made... Yeah, like, on made this that. case... On this case in particular, we could just return an exception. Yeah, but if you, but that's the that's the gotcha because if we do that, if we decide, okay, if a program reaches a certain state, we don't want to handle that and continue. We just want the program to terminate. We can literally ditch the result t and just use IO, IO, IO of a. Yeah, but the problem is on I see on the REPL, right? Like we don't want the queue the REPL if that's, you fail. That's a good catch. We don't want the we don't want the thing to catch no, to we, get we caught can, on fire. Can we catch? Like do we have a try catch? Yeah, <laughs> do we, we, have do, we do we do have try catches also in Haskell. So I, don't, I never used it in exception. a REPL interactive whatever, but um, anyway, anyway. The, so the, the thing that is what is happening here? This is returning a list. Right? This is returning an either mm -hmm. of a list. 
<coughs> do the following lemma. Just to, just return an error. Like, just launch an exception in that case. For now. And let's test the whole thing. And then we see... No, man. It's not as easy as you're as you, as you thinking. I can't just type error somewhere in the code. Because... Oh, no. You know why? Because we ha we are all the structure of the entire Silverware interpreter is co is based on the either. If we remove the either to have exceptions. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Like, go down there. I'm saying about removing the this case completely. Case? This run except AST because this is an error case. Is no, this is not an error. This is you have you an are either. crazy. You have an either. No, no, this is crazy because this is in, if you ask via the command line. Let me go to the command line. If you do this, spatula, dash, dash. If you do uh, a dash F to provide a file, mm -hmm. and you do dash V, you're going to skip oh. the, the type checking. I see. And you're going to just evaluate. <laughs> so then, exactly when someone is out of, its, of, of her mind, then I'm gonna allow it, but I'm gonna. Oh, when somebody <laughs> wants to be pragmatic, you know. <laughs> uh, so th that's why I added this this I pre uh, uh, um, I added this prefix into the print of like, okay, if you want just to evaluate stuff, I'm gonna allow that. You should not do that, but that's fine. Uh, but I'm gonna put a, a red warning to you here. Oh, freedom, right? <laughs> freedom. That's why what you call it. But anyway, anyway, what is the problem here, man? The problem is that this returns in either. Let me just check the double check the error message again. <coughs> so I got that one of them is returning a transformer. This is the not. This is returning yeah, a transformer. And either that is transform yeah. This is returning a transformer. This is re removing the transformer and putting it back to an either. So this is an either of a list. Yeah. But then the problem is the for is expecting a list of either's. You see? Mm -hmm. So Can't you construct that with a list before? Yeah. <laughs> <It's easy. laughs> that's that's terrible, but well, it is what it is, I guess. What are you parentheses, I guess. Redundant, redundant bracket. Oh, it's because uh, we don't need the parentheses now that we are constructing a list. Okay, it's still wrong for some reason. Let me read this type. Uh, couldn't match expected type IOB with actual type IO unit to an F B one to an F zero. F is the, the same F of the 4. Oh, that that's the 4. Yes. Yeah, yes. it is the same F that the 4 is asking for. The, f the same F that the 4 is asking for. Yeah. Man, what the heck. <laughs> but okay, it is the same F that is written in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever you're doing, and probably I'm doing it wrong because I'm already tired, I'm already past the 2-hour mark here. But uh, it should be fairly easy to solve, I just need to think a little bit more. Uh... Well, we can just eliminate the case for now, right? Oh, yeah. Well, we, we do can do this. <laughs> yeah, let's just test <laughs> to see if the rest works. Uh, I think that the first one will also break, though. Yeah, yeah probably. It will. And, and what is that case? Am I going crazy with this, with this crap? Uh, it is saying here. No, not this one. This. Yeah, here. So what we are doing is we are. This is, it's completely in this case here. So result. What is result in this case? Result is a list. Res oh, result is already a list. It's not a single one anymore. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Oh man, I know what we need to do. Let me explain. So do you, the four expects a list, right? Oh my god. I get mm -hmm. you there? Yeah. So the four expects a list, which we are providing, right? But this list 
has only one element, which is a neither of another list. Okay. So what we need to do actually is to transform this either of lists into a list of either's. Into a list, so we need to revert. We need way. to traverse it, I guess. Um, what are the functions? Not revert, to not revert, right? Revert would sound like reversing. That's not what I meant. Yeah, that's not what. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, exactly. We need to, we need to swap those around. Yeah, exchange. What is the? There is a function to do that. I think it's sequence. Sequence. Okay. Yes, it is. So How let me read. So T with a mo. Not I very think beautiful. I think the T is a mo. Yeah, wait, the T is a traversable. There's no like uh, for all wrapping it, so I don't know. So in our but case, in our case, in our case, this is the either. This is the list. Uh -huh. We want the either inside and the list outside. Why does this function has no annotation on what is T? Oh, I see. Because this moment, for example, before with that funny arrow, like the gross. Yeah, this is a constraint. Yeah, yeah this is just a constraint. Okay, it makes yeah. sense. So what we can do, that would be pretty. Uh, this would be pretty cool because I, this would be the first time we are using sequence, which is a very variable function to be honest. So we do this. Dude, well, you know what's funny? Like I had to implement this uh, to do query with the in F sharp because it was painful. <laughs> I didn't have it. Yeah, I, I, I can see that happening. Uh, okay, so what is our error now? Do we have sequence? Sequence is applied to too many arguments. Too many arguments. What are you talking about? Oh, oh man! See. No, 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 no! Man, I, we are. We, I am so so tired. I. I <sighs> what? This re this is a list, man. Right? Oh yes, that's true. Wait, am I am I saying shit? No, no, no. This wait, a that's a no, that's this an is a, a list. No, this wait. Is a list. That other thing is already wrapped, but that's that's also a list. No, this is not a list. Is a list of values. No, it's not. Let me let me explain. So what is the return type of global value? The return type of global value is a result t of list, right? Yes. Yes. When yeah. we put that in front of the run except t, oh not this one. When we call this, this is transforming the result t into an either. Just imagine like that. So this is an either, whatever is happening here is an either of uh, a list. Then ah. we have the arrow. So this is a list. Okay, and the result is a list. And the result is a list. No, dude, wait. I'm confused now. Yeah, exactly. I am also confused. Let's finish the stream for today. Yeah. It's already done. So stop.